We are heading into a critical weekend for the federal election, with polls suggesting the unexpected surge for the bloc in Quebec is hurting both the Liberals and Conservatives in a too-close-to-call election that could end with a minority government. In the meantime, today, leaders were on the campaign trail trying to win every vote they can get. But today, Canadians started giving the leaders their job performance reviews. Advanced polling stations opened this morning across the country, giving voters a chance to literally make their mark on an election that is just 10 days away. Conservative leader Andrew Scheer also trying to make his mark, and today he released his party's platform. He is the last party leader to do so. Under the platform, the Conservatives will balance the budget in five years, partly by delaying billions of dollars of infrastructure spending. We're going to start by scrapping the Trudeau carbon tax that is making everyday essentials more expensive for Canadian families. A new Conservative government will also introduce the universal tax cut, saving a couple earning average salaries $850. We will take the GST off of home heating costs, saving your family over $100 a year. Liberal leader Justin Trudeau met with supporters in Ottawa this morning before flying to B.C. to spend the day in the Vancouver area. Trudeau took a shot at the timing of Scheer's platform release and once again drew a solid line from Scheer to Ontario Premier Doug Ford. The reality is, I think we all know it, you don't release your best work at 6 o'clock on a Friday of a long weekend. They have no plan. And we remember, particularly all of you in Ontario, remember well what Doug Ford did. No platform, and then when he got elected, having said he was for the people, what did he do? Cuts, cuts, cuts. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh campaigned in Montreal this afternoon and will be back in the Toronto area this evening. He released his party's fiscal plan today, highlighting his promise of universal pharmacare that he knows will not be popular with insurance companies. So insurance companies aren't going to like it, probably. They, they run a lot of ads on TV where they, they kind of exploit the fact that people don't have coverage. Uh, we're, gonna, we're saying that we shouldn't have to be playing... Uh, a gamble with whether people have or a game show whether they have or do not have coverage. I want everyone to have coverage. Uh, they probably were not happy when we put in place universal health care in the first place. And when Tommy Douglas said we should have universal health care, I'm sure a lot of insurance companies said, no, no, we don't want that. That's going to make it harder for us. But kind of said tough. We believe people should have health care. Green Party leader Elizabeth May, fresh off last night's French language debate, made campaign stops today in New Brunswick, including Fredericton. Strategists say this is the weekend voters make up their minds as families gather around their dining room tables for Thanksgiving and talk politics. The candidates hope they have the right stuffing.